lit, and... Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to another vlog. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Something that might be actually entertaining to watch in a vlog because I bought these things called a medieval kit. Now we have one done over here. This is obviously the best siege weapon in the world. We got the wonderful trebuchet. Now this one took a while to build so I decided to do it off recording just to see if these things are also good and yeah they're actually really impressive. So we have also a catapult that I'm going to be building today and these are real working things if you uh, if I pull the cord here as you see it shoots stuff. Gotta be honest, I forgot I had that loaded, so I'm glad there was nothing over there that could break. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're going to build this bad boy and see how good it is. Now, I have looked up this one. It looks like it packs a little bit more of a punch than the trebuchet. I do not want to say this is the worst siege weapon, but in this regard, on a desk function, uh, it might be. So I also do want to say this is not sponsored at all. Um, these were actually something I purchased for myself and I figured, well, they're pretty damn interesting so I thought I would show you guys as well. Uh, you can get them at MedievalKits.com though and like I said, not sponsored. This is just something that I personally found and they're really good quality. So what we're going to be doing first is I'm going to try and actually stain this one. I did not stain this uh, catapult and I gotta say the wood is very nice anyways, but I wanted to try some darker wood. So first of all, I want to stain the wood in this and and then we're gonna get into the build. It shouldn't take too long. The uh, kit says it's about an hour, so obviously I'll speed through that. I'll time lapse it, and yeah, you'll hopefully by the end of this we'll see a catapult. All right, so the messy part's done. I think these look pretty good. I wanted a little bit of a darker wood and that's exactly what I got. So now we just gotta wait for them to dry. All right, pieces have more or less dried. So now obviously we have to build this thing. So here we go. Oh, shit. Ah, snaps. There we go. Get it. Thank you. 
Check out that, that is, that's one of the wheels obviously. Looks really nice. Oh yeah. All right. Starting to act. Oh, this thing just fell off. Um, had one problem so far. This one wheel thing was a bit loose. So I think I'm gonna use some wood glue in that, but finally getting kind of a catapult going on. Well, at least that's a good sign. It's somewhat working so far. All right, so there's our gearing. Um, not as loose as I hoped, it's a little sticky. Probably because of the wood stain, honestly, though. I didn't let it fully uh, set, as you could probably tell. And unfortunately, a little bit sticky, so hopefully that works. All right, and here is the end product. Gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Let's see if it can actually wind. Oh, God. <gasps> Are you serious? Well, the moment I wound it, the gear actually broke right in half. Now, thankfully, the kit's smart enough to actually give you two more pieces, because this is probably a common one that breaks, so we're just gonna have to install that. Okay, there we go. New one installed. Let's try that again. So, oh yeah, you can hear the gears clicking. I don't know if you can see that, but the gears right here, they lock in place as you pull it down. Really, really nice function here, and Assuming I know how to do this, we're supposed to just go like that. And there we go, it works. All right, so now for the moment of truth. I'm gonna shoot these things off, do a distance test and uh, see how good they are. And then we might try and do some flaming shots because that sounds awesome. So let's load this thing up. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is actually wind up the trebuchet arm. This is going to bring everything down. Gotta do both sides at the same time, get everything else out of the way. But you can see the actual gears work, which is uh, really cool to me. So we're gonna pull this thing hopefully all the way down. By the way, I loaded this up with rocks. Now you can use something crazier, like uh, some people said BBs are a good idea. Holy crap, I got this thing all wrapped up. All right, there we go. And we're getting near the bottom. It's coming down. It's even got a little gear level lever here, or a uh, pulley system rather. And I think that should be pretty much good. So now it is primed and ready to go. We're gonna wanna load our ammo now, and uh, we're just going to put the ammo inside the actual holder here and close this thing up. And then we're going to go, trying to avoid everything else, and go all the way down here. Put the ammo on the loading bay. There we go, and let's make sure everything, so this is gonna go above this, and then we want that to go on the top of it. So, all right, that should be cocked and ready to go. So we have 
just the one uh, string on here. This is going to slip off when we shoot, and that's how it uh, lets go of the actual shot. You can see the shot down back in there. Looks like everything's ready to go. All we need to do is pull this and let it fly. So here we go. Let it fly. So here we go. That actually hit the back wall, wow. And now it's time for the catapult. So I haven't really shown this thing off. I gotta say, I really love the brass feet. The finishing of it's really good too. So I'm really happy with this thing. All right, let's actually load it up here. This is so weird that I'm playing with siege weapons in real life. But basically, it works similar to the trebuchet. It's got the gear lever there and it's gonna lock it in place once we're down at the bottom. I think that's pretty good just like that. We're gonna put a little rock on there. A little bit of a big one, but we'll let it go and see what happens. So here we go, and... So here we go, and... All right, that actually surprisingly only went about halfway as far as the trebuchet, so... Uh, yeah, clearly the trebuchet wins this one. Now I could tension the rope even more. You can see basically how this thing works is it's just got a twisted rope in the middle and uh, it pushes the tension down when you push it downwards. I could tension that more if I did want to get a little bit further of a shot, but I heard it crack a little bit when I was doing it, so I'm not really comfortable breaking this thing. Regardless, still a really cool little uh, desk toy. Okay, so we're outside and it's time to test out the flame ball. Now I just used a piece of cotton, uh, basically turned into a ball, has lighter fluid on it. I do not recommend you do this at home, but for science we're gonna try it now. And I'm gonna try not to burn my hand. This is gonna, it's gonna go well. Oh God. Oh no. Yes! It worked! It didn't go far. I mean that was a light ball, but it worked. Okay, let's put that out now. Okay, so we got the trebuchet now. This one should go a little bit better. The hard part's gonna be lighting this thing so I guess we just gotta hope for the best and go for it there we go there we go okay here we go oh god oh god oh it, totally it, go? fl it, it flung all the way over oh there. my god it went far all right trying again this time we're gonna try a match because I almost burned my freaking hand off so come on there we go lit and oh god oh no, oh, no! Oh no! That's not good. Oh no! <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. Well, there's my problem. Uh, yeah, I told you guys I was a trained professional. I, I almost burnt my house down, man. Uh, yeah, totally broke that off, so... It looks like the trebuchet is out. Let's try the catapult once more. Okay, all we got is the catapult left. Now, like I said before, don't try this at home, kids. Uh, my hand's gonna be really close to this, and hopefully it works. Now, I did tighten the cord a little bit, so it should go a little bit further if we can get this thing to go. So, let's try. Yes! That actually was kind of cool. There we go, and now it burns on the ground. Let's go put that out. All right, so I think that's enough of me almost burning down my house for one day. Like I said, kids, do not do this at home. Um, this obviously isn't designed to be lit on fire and shot. I just wanted to try it because it looked really fun. Now, these things do work really good. Let me just say that. They didn't go very far on the uh, videos, but if you put metal weights in this thing, it can go really far. I've actually seen it break glass. Catapult, however, I thought it would pack a little bit more punch, but uh, still, it's a, it's a desk toy, guys, so it's not gonna be, you know, a weapon of war or anything. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I got some more interesting uh, things coming in the mail, actually something that ignites things once again, so I, I should probably stop playing with fire. Now that I've done this, I know how bad I am with it. But yeah, I got some more stuff coming in, so we might do some more videos kind of like this if you guys do like it. Don't really know what to call these videos. If you can think of a name, that would be great. And if you guys have any suggestions on things I should check out and buy and maybe put together or destroy, that would be great as well. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for all your support. Thanks to the new Patreon subscribers as well as YouTube sponsors. They keep changing the name, so I can't remember what it is. YouTube really likes to do that. They really like to confuse people. They'll implement something and then change the name of it, so you're really thrown off. But yeah, thank you to the YouTube... Subs no, it's not subscribers, because... Uh, 
YouTube sponsors. It has to be YouTube sponsors. Anyways, thank you all for all your support. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. We'll probably do another vlog soon. I'm gonna try and do some more of these because they're really fun to do as well. So, stay awesome guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.